Hello everyone, welcome to the Stat Pro full course tutorial. Today video we learn how to analyze and design of a continuous beam with different types of loading. So this is the beam with different type of loading. In this beam, here is a fixed support at the end A and uh, at the end of B is also a fixed support. At C is a simple support at D f and h have a simple support with different location first load is the uvl uniform varying load next load is trapezoidal load then moment then udl then moment then point load and then uvl this type of load applied to the beam so let's start Hello everyone, welcome to the Stat Pro Basic to Advanced Full Course Tutorial Series. Let's start. Click on New Project, Space Structure. Dif and the title of this video is Different Loading. I am choose length in meter and force in kilonewton next add beam finish the length of the beam is 18.5 but is not a single beam because also support at c d f and h We have to create one beam, two beam, three beam, four beam and five beam at different spacing three meter, three meter and this is uh, five meter and this is 3.5 and four meter. Let's start. What we do first we create a node and close the grid select the nodes by the node cursor and activate the translation repeat tool select x direction because we create a beam in the x direction and how many steps if you see one step two three four five steps five step first step is three meter three meter then five meter first step is three three then five then 3.5 then 4 meter link okay done next step is support here and here is fixed support so what we do go to the support and create a fixed support and apply this support at this node at this node okay we have also joints created uh, between the beam but not visible if you want to visible the nodes is we have a shortcut key shift plus k okay now we also create a support pin add and this pin support we apply to the all four supports next step is loading first load in full member is uh, triangle load with 12 kN intensity go to the load and definition we consider or assume that all load is dead load okay. in dead load add in member load because all load apply to the member only In member load go to the linear varying load in linear varying load and then second load is the triangle load click on the triangle load and minus for downward and 12 is the intensity and add close and apply this to this beam shift plus V so shortcut key for load value visible shift plus V okay next load is trapezoidal 4 kN to 7 kN C to D 
dead load add member load and trapezoidal load first load is 4 minus 4 for downward a second is minus 7 add close and assign this load to the second wheel next load is movement 15 at the point of E is the 3.5 meter from the D okay 15 kilo Newton and the direction of the movement is clockwise okay go to the dead load add member load and concentrated movement negative for clockwise 15 kilo Newton and this D1 for where you apply this load D1 means this distance D1 so this distance 3.1 3.5 sorry and the direction of the moment is Z add close apply this moment to this wing okay we apply this moment to the beam but not visible if you zoom out this is not visible go to the scale and uh, in scale check the point moment value and apply at immediately and increase the point value okay we uh, reduce the size of the arrow of the moment okay the moment is done next is udl 1.5 meter and 1.5 meter we have to apply two udl one udl at 1.5 and one udl at 1.5 from 3.5 here from 1.5 dead load add what is the intensity of udl 26 member load minus 26 d1 is showing distance add close and apply this moment to this beam okay one more um, udl as apply add uniform force minus 26 d1 is now is 1.5 add close and apply this moment to this beam so 1.5 If we check 1.5 from this, what is the distance of this? 3.5. Okay. If we apply this moment from 1.5 is correct. why this apply at this because 1.5 means distance from here 1.5 this remove this load and again load uh, member load uniform force minus 26 and d1 is 1.5 okay we have to provide d1 is 0 and d2 is 1.5 add close okay why this this is the support and this is the distance of 1.5 meter d1 means distance from here a distance from here is 0 and D2 is load width that is why I provide this ok now the next load is movement anti clockwise means positive z direction at 1.5 dead load click add member load concentrated moment um, 10 kilo Newton positive 10 direction z and D1 is 1.5 and apply this moment to the this wing like this. Okay, next load is a point load at the 
support okay we can add a nodal load from here and what is the magnitude minus 20 add close apply this load to this node now next load is uvl 10 to 0 whole beam dead load add member load linear wiring or trapezoid we apply trapezoid this is the 10 minus 10 and this is 0 add and apply this load to this the load is finished and the size of the B whole beam is 18.5 meters correct now what we do we can go to the print all and analyze 10 error because we don't provide we miss the provide to the properties properties define we assume a size size is not affect the result because we not apply self weight of the structure size is affect the result when we also apply self weight and this is done this is the bending moment diagram this is shear force diagram and this is the deflection go to the post processing and check the values previous video we learn how to check values go to the result view value beam result check deflection and rotate okay this is the deflection if you want to design this beam go to the design concrete select code and command beam design add close and apply beam and analyze this structure again double click on the beam and check the design parameter this is the design parameter. we already discussed the how to read uh, design the output and how to assign parameter of rcc design you check in my previous video so in this video we only learn how to apply different load of a continuous beam if you like this video please share this video like and click on bell icon for future tutorial series like etap revit architecture sap autocad and others thank you